Hello everyone, welcome to ElliotWithDashForecast.com My name is Henry Lau and I am one of the senior analysts at the company. In this video today, we are going to take a look at the Hang Seng Index. This is a major index from Hong Kong. Uh, and we can see over here, this is the time analysis, cycle analysis and what we expect in the long run as well as in the short run. Uh, we can see the data here starts from 1985 so pretty much it is a monthly chart going all the way back from uh, let's say the beginning of the ind index. We can see the cycle here in the rally is unfolding in a corrective manner. Uh, we can see one, two, three so it's three ways up from this so let's call this all-time low one two three ended in 2007 and then this is obviously the financial crisis in 2008 uh, it sort of reset the whole rally in just one year and then from there we start a new rally until today so if we look at this Hang Seng index in the long run and start counting the sequence we can see that it was able to make a new high above this 2007 high in the year of 2017-2018 late 2017 early 2018 it broke to new all-time high above this 2007 high and what that means is that if we start to count the number of swing okay not the elite with count but just counting the number of swing we can count this uh, if we assume we start from zero here we can count this one two three in the red four and then with the new high we have five swing from all time low from zero so a five swing is what we call incomplete sequence it is not the same as five waves uh, it represents the number of swing we are counting the swing this is not five waves impulse and five swing represents what we call a double correction so this is a double correction or sometimes we call it double three it's labeled as WXY and this is a structure in which you have two corrective structures linked together so uh, the first leg here is in three waves because it's corrective structure and the Y leg is also in three waves because this is also corrective structures so you have two corrective structures combined together into what we call a WXY now if you count the number of swing in a WXY structure you can count this one two three four five six seven uh, this is um, the whole structure is showing a higher high sequence which is bullish right a high high sequence which is bullish and uh, if you are over here over here then you can count this as a one two three four five that's where we are right now if we count it from the red one two three four and then with the new high this is your this is practically a new high so it's a swing number five right and that implies that we should see further upside to finish seven swing uh, target is over here in which this leg is going to be equal to this leg right and that implies that in the long term indices are not done to the upside so regardless however you want to measure it the Hang Seng at least from the Hang Seng index is not done to the upside besides if you count starting from this 2008 low which is also a major low in the global indices again you can count the number of swing again one now in the blue two right so starting from the blue zero here one two three four five swing again just like this one two three four five we got a higher high and again implying we need to have a six and seven so that this leg will be equal to this leg 
So in the long run, then we expect indices to stay supported, no change because the sequence is incomplete on the upside, at least from the Hang Seng Index, all right? And looking at the time frame, we can see how symmetrical it is. We can see from 2008 low to this 2010 high, which is if you look at it this cycle, this cycle, that takes, it took 25 months, right? It took 25 months to go from 2008 low to 2010 high. You can see it took the same exact length of time from this 2016 to the 2018 high. This also took 25 months. So we can have, we have a symmetrical in terms of uh, price as well as in terms of time. So this is more or less the same as this. Now, what's interesting is this is the pullback on the sixth swing, which is this one that we are anticipating here. If this is going to take the same time again as the previous cycle, uh, you can notice here that it took about a year to correct in the previous cycle. So if this is going to repeat the same thing, we can expect more or less the same. Now we are already in July now, right? We are already in July. And if this is going to repeat, we can have this correction all the way until uh, next year, until the end of the year or until early next year. Then from there, we can start a new leg higher again in the seventh swing. So currently from 2018 high, we need, if this is going to be one year, same as this, this is going to last until the end of the year or early next year, right? And then from there, we can take another leg higher again. Now this entire cycle takes about 79 months. So if we measure the same length of time, it can bring us to January 2022 to finish this entire rally here, but not until it finishes the correction first. Okay, so now uh, the shorter cycle in the Hang Seng already confirms the correction has already started. If we look at the, this is the daily chart, we notice, we can notice here this entire rally from February 2016 to uh, late 2017, this entire rally looks impulsive. If you go down, this entire rally looks impulsive. So let's say this is zero, which is the 2016 February. One, two, three, four, five. So it looks impulsive. And then now the Hang Seng has already broken this February low. So this is an important low in the global indices the Hang Seng already broke it. American indices have not. Okay, so that implies that we could see at least further extension lower to this area to finish uh, a zigzag correction of some sort from here. Okay, and implies for the downside. Now, that doesn't mean from here it will go to new high. Uh, it may consolidate for a while. It may do another double correction or it may do something else. Uh, remember, if we look at this template, uh, in fact, this pullback has been pretty sharp last time. Take a look at the retracement. It retraces uh, go, uh, to the 61.8% of this entire rally. So this pullback here, uh, if it is going to repeat, which is not necessarily going to happen, it can also do the same, retracing 61.8% percent of this entire rally before finally we finish this correction and then rally again. So uh, what can we conclude then? We can conclude at least from the Hang Seng that the correction likely is going to continue, that it may even last until the end of the year if it is going to repeat the same uh, correction in the previous cycle. Okay, but in the long run, the cycle remains, uh, the sequence remains bullish in the long run, and we should still be looking for further upside down the road, uh, all the way to 2020, 2021, 2022 in the Hang Seng. Now, the last thing 
is if you if you sort of overlay if you overlay now the Hang Seng is is an index of uh, is a basket of 50 blue chip indices in Hong Kong now if we compare this we can compare this to let's say the the Dow which is you know the thir the 30 stocks in the US also a blue chip now even though the structure is not exactly in the same uh, you can see the Dow is sort of more uh, stronger right it is a lot stronger than uh, the Hang Seng uh, but you can notice still that the high and the low the oscillation is the same so it, when it made the high in 2007 it also made the high in the Dow the Dow made the low 2008 Hang Seng also made the low 2008 now even this one uh, 2015 now even though the Dow is a lot I mean look the Dow is a lot stronger so the pullback is a lot shallower compared to the Hang Seng but still the high and the low is about the same time right so what that means is the following depending on the time it takes from the Hang Seng to finish this correction now it doesn't necessarily the Dow is going to pull back as well or it's going to it's going to correct even deeper but the idea is timing M timing more than the price and the direction so if the Hang Seng really is going to repeat a one-year correction here then we could in the Dow we could either also correct further we can also either correct further until the end of the year or it can consolidate and continue to get sideways from the whole year in 2018 right so until this is ready to, to rally and turn higher and uh, and the Dow should also be uh, not ready to turn higher yet ideally right so timing wise then in terms of the timing we can expect the ideal timing if it is going to repeat the previous cycle again is going to be next year approximately before we start uh, a new leg to the upside in the global indices so I hope that you enjoy this video uh, we do this sort of analysis as well as uh, giving members the bias that we have and what we like and what we don't like in our live session every single day we also have live trading room in which we're going to explain which one has the sequence to trade if you are interested to check out more you can try our services 14 days for free so I would encourage you and to take the trial it is 14 days without commitment and we also have uh, promotion from time to time so check out and take advantage of what we are offering and we also got plenty of free resources as well and also article throughout our sites so see you guys again next time